A NASA detected a mysterious object speeding toward Earth. Some actual bona fide experts think it might not be your typical space rock or maybe any kind of rock or a natural phenomenon at all. It's shedding 10 pounds of pure nickel every single second. As the interstellar object 3I Atlas barrels through our solar system, it's leaving behind a trail of metal that, according to our best science, simply should not exist in that form. This discovery has sent shockwaves through the astronomical community. A leading voice from Harvard University is suggesting that we aren't just looking at a comet. We might be looking at a piece of technology. The object's strange chemical signature and even stranger path have opened a universe of terrifying and exciting new possibilities about who or what is out there. A warning from Harvard. In the vast silent theater of space, a new actor has made its entrance and its performance is leaving scientists utterly speechless. On the 1st of July, 2025, a survey team in Chile pointed their telescopes to the sky and found something remarkable, a faint speck of light moving at an incredible 130,000 miles per hour. This wasn't just another asteroid or comet from our own neighborhood. Its path was all wrong. It was a traveler from the great beyond, an interstellar object, only the third one humanity has ever confirmed. They named it 3i Atlas. At first, it was a cause for celebration, a rare chance to study a piece of another star system right here in our own backyard. But as Atlas got closer, the celebration turned to confusion and for some, to alarm. You see, the closer we looked, the less sense it made. The real shock came when astronomers used the very large telescope to analyze the light coming from the object's coma the fuzzy cloud of gas and dust surrounding it. They were expecting to see the usual suspects, water, dust, maybe some common metals. What they found instead was something that, for all intents and purposes, should be impossible. The object was shedding about 10 pounds of nickel every single second. Nickel itself isn't strange in space, but the thing nobody tells you is that in the cosmos, nickel and iron are like cosmic brothers. They are almost always found together, forged in the heart of the same dying stars. Meteorites that fall to Earth are packed with both. Yet, when scientists looked at the data from 3i Atlas, the iron was missing. Almost zero. This is where the story takes a sharp turn from a cool discovery into a profound, world-changing mystery. A top Harvard astrophysicist, a man known for his bold and often controversial ideas, sounded the alarm. He pointed out that on Earth, separating nickel from iron is an industrial process. It requires immense energy and technology. You don't just find pure nickel deposits lying around, and you certainly don't expect to see a comet spewing it out in the vacuum of space. It was a red flag of cosmic proportions. Could nature even do this? The question hung in the air, thick with possibility. It was the first clue that 3i Atlas wasn't just a messenger from another star. It might be a message in a bottle, deliberately crafted and sent on a journey across the interstellar ocean. Many people are crazy about the idea that this is definitive proof of aliens, but the scientific community is, by its very nature, cautious. They needed more data. As the James Webb Space Telescope turned its powerful eye toward the visitor, it uncovered another piece of the puzzle that only deepened the enigma. The comet's main ingredient wasn't water, like most comets we know. It was carbon dioxide. In fact, it had the highest carbon dioxide to water ratio ever seen. Eight parts carbon dioxide to one part water. Our comets typically have around 4%. This thing was fundamentally different from anything born in our solar system. It was built differently. It was behaving differently. And it was shedding impossible metals. This was no longer just a comet. It was a cosmic riddle. And its next move would be even stranger. A deliberate path? When an object comes hurtling in from deep space, you expect its path to be a simple one, a long, graceful curve dictated by the massive pull of our sun. But not all things are what they seem. As astronomers tracked 3i Atlas, they started to notice something downright eerie about its trajectory. It wasn't just passing through. It looked like it was on a mission, making a series of flybys so precise they seemed almost intentional. The Harvard astrophysicist who first raised concerns about the nickel anomaly took another look at the numbers, and what he found was astonishing. He calculated the odds of any random object from another star system passing so closely to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, all in a single visit. 
the probability was a minuscule 0.005%. To put that in perspective, you have a better chance of being struck by lightning multiple times in your life. It was a statistical improbability of the highest order. Could this just be a fluke, a one in a billion cosmic coincidence? Or was something else going on? You see, the object's path had another bizarre feature. Our solar system is mostly flat, like a spinning record, with all the planets orbiting the sun in the same direction on a level plane. Three-Eye Atlas came in on that same flat plane, tilted only five degrees, but it was moving backward. This is known as a retrograde orbit, and while not unheard of, it's strange. If you wanted to design a probe to get the best look at our solar system in one go, this is exactly the kind of path you might choose. By moving against the flow of traffic, it could get relatively close-up views of multiple planets in a short amount of time, like a car driving slowly down a one-way street in the wrong direction to get a good look at all the houses. Furthermore, the object's perihelion, its closest approach to the sun, where it would be at its brightest and most active, was scheduled to happen on the far side of the sun from Earth. This made it incredibly difficult for us to get our best observations during its peak activity. It was almost as if it was trying to hide something, or perhaps the timing was just another in a long line of strange coincidences. When you pile up all these oddities, the impossible metals, the weird gases, the statistically unlikely trajectory, the retrograde tour of the planets, it becomes harder and harder to dismiss the feeling that this is more than just a random rock. It starts to feel deliberate. It starts to feel like a survey. The thing nobody tells you is that the idea of an alien probe isn't just for movies anymore. Serious scientists are now forced to consider it. The alternative explanations for what 3 Eye Atlas is and what it's doing are, in some ways, even wilder than aliens. The debate is no longer about if strange things are happening out there, but what is causing them? Is it some unknown exotic form of astrophysics we have yet to discover? Or is it the calling card of an intelligence far older and more advanced than our own? And this isn't the first time a mysterious visitor has left us with more questions than answers. They are not random. To understand the full weight of the Three Eye Atlas mystery, we have to rewind the clock to 2017. That's when the first ever confirmed interstellar object, a bizarre cigar-shaped anomaly named Oumuamua, tumbled through our solar system. Oumuamua, which means a messenger from afar arriving first in Hawaiian, was a complete shock to the system. It was moving too fast to have come from our sun's neighborhood, and its shape was unlike any asteroid or comet we had ever seen. But the weirdest thing about Oumuamua was its movement. As it flew away from the sun, it sped up. It was accelerating, pushed by a mysterious force that astronomers couldn't explain. Comets can speed up like this because as the sun heats them, they shoot out jets of gas, acting like tiny rocket thrusters. But here's the catch. Oumuamua had no visible tail, no coma, no outgassing whatsoever. So what was pushing it? This is where that same Harvard professor, Avi Loeb, entered the global spotlight. He proposed a radical idea. What if Oumuamua wasn't a rock at all? What if it was an artificial object, a piece of alien technology? Specifically, he suggested it could be a solar sail, a very thin sheet of material designed to be pushed by the pressure of starlight itself. It was a stunning claim that was met with both fascination and heavy skepticism from the scientific community. To many, it was a step too far. But the data was undeniably strange, and no one had a perfect natural explanation. Oumuamua eventually flew out of range of our telescopes, leaving its riddle unsolved. Now, fast forward to today, and suddenly Three Eye Atlas appears. It's the ghost of Oumuamua, returned in a different form. Once again, we have an interstellar object with properties that defy easy explanation. One object could be a fluke, but two? Two starts to look like a pattern. You see, the universe is mind-bogglingly big. The space between stars is an ocean of almost perfect emptiness. For two such incredibly strange and unique objects to visit our solar system in less than a decade is once again statistically mind-boggling. Many people are crazy about connecting the dots. Could these objects be related? Are they from the same source? Is one a scout and the other something else? The thing nobody tells you is that even if they are natural, their arrival suggests that the galaxy might be filled with far more of this strange stuff 
than we ever imagined. It forces us to reconsider our models of how other star systems are built. But if they aren't natural, the implications are staggering. It would mean that someone or something is sending probes into our little corner of the Milky Way. The question is no longer just, what are these things? But what is the force that created them? A cosmic forge or an alien factory? So here we are, faced with a visitor from the stars that breaks all the rules. On one hand, we have a series of anomalies that seem to point directly toward an artificial origin. The pure nickel, the improbable path, the strange gases. It feels like a breadcrumb trail left by an advanced intelligence. The idea of a message in a bottle is a powerful one. Perhaps another civilization encoded information into the very structure of 3Y Atlas, using the ratios of elements as a language, knowing it would be a puzzle that any spacefaring society would be compelled to solve. It's a message designed to last for eons, but the thing nobody tells you is that even the alien technology theories have wilder layers. What if it isn't a message, but something far more mundane, or far more incredible? Some have suggested this could be a piece of cosmic garbage, the discarded fuel tank of a much larger interstellar vessel, or a chunk of a destroyed alien megastructure. That would explain the strange industrial grade metals. But what if it's the opposite of trash? What if it's a builder? The theory of a self-replicating probe, a von Neumann probe, suggests a machine that enters a star system, uses raw materials from asteroids to build copies of itself, and then sends those copies out to other stars. Perhaps the nickel and bizarre gases are just the seed components for this cosmic replication. Then there's an even more profound idea. What if it's a celestial cedar, an automated biological laboratory designed to spread life? The object's incredibly high carbon dioxide content, so different from our comets, could be part of a terraforming or life-starting process designed to deliver the building blocks of life to promising worlds. It wouldn't be a message for us, but a delivery for our entire planet. But not all things are what they seem, and science demands that we explore every single natural possibility. The answer is a tentative. Maybe. It would require the most violent events the universe has to offer, like a kilonova, the collision of two neutron stars that forges heavy elements and blasts them across the galaxy. It's possible that 3i Atlas is a frozen remnant of one of these ancient cosmic collisions. Or perhaps it's debris from an asymmetric supernova, a lopsided star explosion that can, in theory, separate nickel from iron. The thing is, even if these extreme events created this object, what are the odds that a piece of that debris would be sent on a perfect path to tour our solar system? This brings us to a final, more unsettling theory. What if the object's purpose is simply to be seen? A cosmic lure or a test? What if its strange properties and impossible trajectory are designed to catch our attention, to see if anyone is home, and if we're smart enough to notice? It wouldn't be a probe to survey us, but a test to see how we react. When you look at it that way, the alien explanation starts to sound a little less crazy. Does all of this just happen overnight? Are we missing a key detail? Perhaps the simplest explanation, as strange as it sounds, is the right one. This is the heart of the debate, and it's one that will rage on for years to come. So, is 3i Atlas just a cosmic coincidence, or is it a deliberate calling card from an intelligence beyond our own? What do you think is hiding in the dark between the stars? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries.